here we'll look at solving equations written in factored form. So what we've got is, uh, so is uh, direction say solve and here we see that this is a f some factored quadratic and it's set equal to zero. Notice the instructions here if there's more than one solution separate with comma. Alright, how do we go about doing this? Well the first thing we want to recognize is that we basically have two things multiplied together to equal zero. That's that's this idea right here. Right? This thing, this parentheses u minus three is one term or one entity and then the other b is this quantity u plus four. So if we have two things that are multiplied together that makes zero then that can only be true if either if a equals zero or b equals zero. So this thing right here has to equal zero or this thing equals zero. So what's that how do we you know how do we use that information? That all makes sense, but what the heck do we do with it? Well basically that just says that we take this right here, our original problem, and we break it up into two little mini problems. We say to ourselves, oh well, if u minus 3 times u plus 4 equals 0, then u minus 3 has to equal 0, or u plus 4 has to equal 0. Well, those are easy problems to solve, you know. We just add a 3 to both sides, and we get u equals 3. Here we subtract a 4 from both sides, and we get u equals negative 4. So our answer is 3 and negative 4. So you can be either of those numbers, and it'll make this original thing true. All right? Let's look at that's the detailed explanation, right? Let's look at another example that we can work through in a more direct form. All right, we want to solve this: v plus one times v plus eight equals zero. All we have to do is our two little mini problems. We just say v plus one equals zero or v plus 8 equals 0. Solve each of those individually. Subtract 1 from both sides and we get v equals negative 1 or over here we subtract an 8 we get v equals negative 8 and we'd write our answer like this v equals negative 1 comma negative 8 now, you want to be sure, you can always check. You can always plug this in right up here and say, oh, if I put a negative 1 in here for v, negative 1 plus 1 times negative 1 plus 8, well, that's easy. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. 0 times anything is 0. Oh, that works out. If we put a negative 8 in there, it's going to be the same thing. It's going to be a, a negative 8 plus 1, which is negative 7, times a negative 8 plus 8, which is 0. Anything times 0 is 0. That's it. Shall we do one more quick example? Pretty easy. Two little mini problems. c minus 2 equals 0, or z plus 9 equals 0. We solve this. We get c equals 2, and we solve this and we get negative 9. That's it. Have fun.